Kampala city is home to more than 1.5 million people, 60% of which reside in unplanned settlements. Majority of these unplanned settlements are located in low-lying areas where the water table is high, making access to proper sanitation a nightmare to many slum dwellers in Kampala. As a result, sanitation facilities in Kampala slums are alarmingly poor, with majority of the dwellers having no access to good toilet facilities due to the high cost of construction. Joseph Atendaula, a member of the National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda, says constructing toilets in Kampala slums comes with a number of challenges. <laughs> Because of the high water table in the low-lying slums, a number of latrines are constructed near drainage channels so as to be emptied during the rainy seasons. A slum profiling study conducted by the National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda indicates that 88% of slum dwellers lack access to a waterborne toilet in their settlement. 83% of slum dwellers in Kampala use shared pit latrines with multiple stances. The limited access to toilets, coupled with poor waste disposal, poses numerous health hazards, raising environmental concerns and leads to water contamination. To address Kampala's sanitation problems, the National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda, in partnership with Act Together, a local NGO with support from Comic Relief, is implementing many innovative ways aimed at empowering slum dwellers in Uganda to improve their toilet situations. One such innovation is the biofuel latrine technology, which treats human waste at the source. Biofuel is friendly to the environment, safer and a more cost-effective way to manage human waste. The biofuel digester combines the benefits of a flush toilet system with those of composting toilets. Wastewater and fecal matter enter at the top of the biofuel digester, where rapid separation of solids and liquid contents of the waste occurs. We developed this toilet suitable for all conditions, suitable for all types of soil. In this toilet, uh, you don't have to empty. We use earthworms to digest the human feces. One stance of this type of toilet can accommodate about 15 people. And uh, 15 people can use it. Uh, like for a period of two years without emptying it. After two years, you open the chamber and you remove manure. You remove manure, you replace, you replace the chambers and then you, you still wait for another two years. Again, you empty. You don't want to, to replace, you don't have to replace worms because they breed themselves inside the chambers. Uh, the type of worms we, we have here is called African night crawlers. But for sustainability of these projects, we have started to breed them. The digester is essentially a biological filter consisting a medium of soil and pervious concrete. Solid waste, including toilet paper and all degradable anno cleaning material, are degraded, decomposed, and converted into rich, safe soil, courtesy of living organisms. All liquids are organically filtered out at the bottom of the digester and drained into the soil where further and final decomposition occurs. In 
In Rubaga Administrative Division, Kampala Capital City Authority leaders entered a partnership with Act Together to promote the biofuel toilets in waterlogged slum areas and a number of communities have started to benefit from the initiative. The process involves establishing of a toilet revolving fund that gives slum dwellers organized in savings groups low-cost loans to construct their own biofuel toilets. We know that the Marim Saving Group is supporting the Saving Group. We can take 20% of 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 the Saving Group. We can take who sensitize slum dwellers on available loan opportunities to enable them acquire modern toilet facilities. The demand for bio toilets in Kampala slums is steadily growing. One of the beneficiaries of such loans is Margaret, a member of Bwavo Mpologoma Savings Group in the Wakaliga settlement on the outskirts of Kampala. In Kawada settlement, Sanyu Faith acquired a loan to construct a biofuel toilet in the small space she had. Lungu Jachitunzi market was on the verge of being closed by the Kampala Capital City Authority due to lack of toilets. Vendors organized under Agaria Wamu Savings Group secured a sanitation loan from the Slum Dwellers Federation to construct a biofuel toilet. <laughs> A toilet caretaker was put in place to ensure that the toilet is kept clean and also to collect user fee which money is used to pay the loan. To maximize the benefits of the technology, slum dwellers have been sensitized on the do's and don'ts of using biofuel toilets, not to use water with soap in the digester, not using hard paper for anal cleaning. Toilet is no. Yet to never could use in Biramontu to Jamu community at Soka to Vasome Samu and Beira Toilet, a fana nature, a gala causes a waiter. Bio toilets are becoming very popular amongst slum dwellers because of the numerous advantages they have over other available toilet options. <laughs> I'm here with Margaret and the husband, some of the beneficiaries who got the biofuel toilets in the slums of Kampala. So Margaret, can you tell us the advantages of the biofuel toilets? Margaret is saying that the traditional toilet was smelling. The new toilet does not smell. Tezi unya 
zetaga amazi matontono zabatu yamba ko kufuna toilet mbasi manyo kubanga kesisi ye yere enatira kutugala katale cafe Biofuel toilets do not require sewage connectivity because the process is self-contained, they are also maintenance-free. Biofuel toilets do not smell and no sludge is generated in the system to attract insects that spread germs. They can be constructed in waterlogged areas. They do not need big land to construct. They are easy to clean. The National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda is to continue working with local communities, giving them low-cost sanitation loans to construct eco-friendly biofuel toilets in the slum areas of Kampala. This project has demonstrated that good sanitation is not only a source of dignity among slum dwellers, but also something worth paying for.